Adam, this looks like a small one, but a fun one. Oh, lots of fun. There's tons of myths out there about what is bulletproof and what isn't, and we're gonna set out to test as many of them as we can. What do we got? We got playing cards. Books. Zippo lighters. It's off to the Chabot Gun Club to test this myth. The setup is simple. In place of a human body, one slab of ballistics gel, and a selection of mythical bullet-stopping items. <laughs> Target number one, a book. Hard cover, naturally. And the weapon of choice, a 22 caliber rifle. Dead center. Well, pull it out. Let's see if it went through. It did it not. It did not. So somewhere... Oh, look at what it did. Punch the paper. Yeah. Where's your round? There it is. There's your round. It's probably actually about 400 pages it made it through. So shall we try a 357 Magnum, see if it makes it all the way through? Did I even hit it? Over the top. Over the top? Well, that's pretty lame. Another round. <laughs> this test reveals Adam would struggle to hit the side of a barn. From the inside. Oh, I think it's your turn, sir. I can't seem to hit that damn thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's see what it did. All right. Oh, went all the way through. Okay, right. so. A book won't stop a 357 Magnum, but <laughs> I've never considered a book to be really body armor anyway. Our next target, a deck of cards. The Joker gets another chance with the 22. We're going hot, eyes and ears. Good shot, Adam. Thank you, Uncle Jamie. <laughs> and it went through it. It did, it went all the way through it. But not through the ballistics gel, you can see it. Yeah, no, it made it about six inches into the ballistics gel. Still, if you had one of these in your pocket, it wouldn't do you any good at all. Uh, I think it's time to try the Zippo. Okay. Are you ready, Ace? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Looks like you hit it pretty good. Books, cards, lighters. None will stop a bullet. Now, Adam and Jamie want to put another myth in the line of fire. And this one's a little closer to home. Every time the Mythbusters have made something go bang, they've done so from behind the safety of a high-impact resistant plastic screen. But how safe were they? Were the Mythbusters living their own myth? There we go. All right, ready. Yeah, well, last season, Jimmy, we protected ourselves from a whole bunch of our experiments using this quarter-inch polycarbonate, which you told us all was actually bulletproof, and it's not. I don't recall it that way. You know, that was quarter-inch polycarbonate, and I never said the quarter-inch was bulletproof. Oh, I believe that the very next cut in this segment is you saying bulletproof from last season. Uh, it'll stop a bullet, it'll stop all sorts of shrapnel, and uh, I just love this stuff. Well... Not exactly. It'll stop a bullet. <laughs> well, what Just, were you thinking? It can't that, stop a bullet, so it's not bulletproof. That plastic is a bulletproof plastic when it's used in appropriate thicknesses and, and arrangements. Anyway, we've got a sheet up there of what we had in our blast chamber, and we're going to fire some bullets at it and see how bulletproof it actually is. So our first shot is going to be at the quarter-inch polycarbonate. Yep. And we'll see what it does. You know, it, it most likely, my guess is it'll shatter. Well, and that's why I think you should take the first shot, farm boy, and show yeah, us yeah, how yeah, bulletproof yeah. it actually is. So. All right. Have at it. To test the stopping power of their blast screen, they'll use the 22. Did you miss it? It looks like it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the bullet went right through. It's worth remembering the guys aren't actually being shot at in their experiments, but it's got them wondering what they should be behind if they ever are. Not even remotely bulletproof. Okay, well, let's try the real thing. Let's do the real thing. Oh. This stuff is rated bullet resistant. Again, they're using the 22. Okay, I'm firing. 
Wow. It's a little high. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's like, yeah, it's a little high. Yeah, that definitely stopped it. The bullet hasn't even penetrated halfway. Once again, they pull out the 357 Magnum. Well, that looks almost like a bullseye. Wow. Look, it's like completely encased in the plastic. Oh, that is really cool. So the 357 Magnum didn't penetrate the, uh, the bulletproof glass either. Clearly, this calls for something special. This is the 44 Magnum, right? This is the 44 Magnum, oh, uh, first cousin to the Dirty Harry gun. So this is the most powerful handgun in the world. Is that At right? the time that movie was made, yes. The fabled 44 Magnum, Dirty Harry's weapon of choice. Take a breath, relax. But again, that tough little box has stopped the bullet. It did about the same as the 357. It's a bigger that, hole, but yeah. it didn't go any deeper, I don't right, think. Right, but it means it's spread out more energy right there in yeah. the middle. God, that's fantastic. It's becoming a source of considerable frustration. So we gotta stop pussyfooting around here. What do you got that'll make it through that thing? What they've got is the Springfield 30-06, the oldest caliber rifle on the grounds and the Mythbusters' last chance to see if bulletproof really means bulletproof. That went right through it. Wow, look at that. Went right through that side and right through that side. It Good. didn't even make the thing jump. Well, you know, this stuff is pretty impressive what it did with the handguns. It's exactly what they rated it for. It, you know, it's not made for a high-powered rifle. Yeah, well, and we were using the highest-powered thing they had on site today. Yeah. Well, we lined them up, we knocked them down, and we fired some big guns. What turned out to be bulletproof or not? Were playing cards bulletproof? No. Nope. Uh, were books or Bibles? No. A Zippo lighter? No. And last year's blast chamber? No. So... Polycarbonate itself is not inherently bulletproof. It has to be laminated in a whole bunch of sheets specially and be really thick, right? Well, polycarbonate itself is not used as a bulletproof plastic. It's got to be laminated and specially put together as a bulletproof product. And it's actually just bullet resistant. So it depends on the circumstances whether it's going to resist the right bullet at right, the right time. Right. And all these other household objects and things that are supposed to stop bullets and famous stories about them stopping bullets, wrong, wrong, wrongity wrong. Rollity wrong? Wrongity wrong. You said rollity wrong. I did not.